Good, good. <laughs> what a stalk. Yeah. I thought you were busted then by all the barking. I thought I did. I didn't know what they were barking at. Must have got a back idea or something. Yeah, they got a two Oh, mate. I'm guessing she was front on. Quartered. Quartered? Yeah. Perfect shot. Just perfect. It sounded gutty, but nah, obviously not. It was perfect, eh? So, are you recording, mate? Yeah. See that? See this, see this rock here? They started it's, to yeah, feed. There. Yeah, they started to feed through that that low um, old native Madagari there. Started to feed away from me. Yeah. And they're all kind of behind that rock, except for one down here. But it is head buried in some Madagari. Yep. So I decided to make a move because they were getting further away. I ranged them and they're about 40 downhill earlier on. So I come across here and as you probably heard they started barking, I don't know why. Here we go. And um, none of them had actually seen me. But that one started barking. Yeah. And they came around the edge of that couple of them behind the rock, came back behind the rock, deep further in the Madagari. And some of them started walking up to see, they must, obviously they hadn't seen me, but they didn't know what was going on, and they come, bit curious. come towards me, yeah. And I was like, oh, do I try and sit it out? But the old adage, you know, your first shot's your best shot. So I hovered the old 30, 40 metre pin over the shoulder, caught it on. Boom. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's run across that grassy face over here. Yeah. And stood there, and then it just started to do circles and rolled back into the uh, manuka down there. Awesome. Yeah, fuck, that was awesome. Yeah, we spent um, quite a bit of time stalking this face behind us here, similar to this country in front of us, um, just going at a super snail's pace, knowing that this <coughs> this face is really good for animals. Beautiful face, eh? you can see why. It's warm. Yep. Got the sun. 
heaps of cover. And as soon as the sun hit the valley floor here, the wind uh, changed to uphill, which is played right in our favour. Mm. It was a good fun stalk around here, eh? Yeah. It was awesome. You never know what you're going to see coming yeah. down the side of each bush, eh? We got into a couple of stags reasonably close to them, red stags. Yeah. And then uh, there's some pigs down here too. As they I come, might still be there. Yeah, as I come around the back of here, I saw a couple of snousties down there. Oh, that's awesome. Very good. I love fellow, <laughs> I love them. These little bastards. Oh. Ah, moccasins. Beautiful. Ah, look at that. I'm happy with that shot. Yeah. Awesome, eh? Yep. I love these wee coloured ones. Awesome. Pretty happy? Yeah, real happy. Yeah. Good pig. You lost your favourite arrow. Yeah. Well, the broadhead's in there. So what happened to you? I got the first shot on film. Yeah, that was below the that was when they were still unaware of me. Yeah. Did you did you miss the first shot? I missed the first shot low, it's those uphill shots. You know yeah. how you always forget to allow. Yeah. And how far, uh, how far were you in the first shot? Uh twenty. Yeah. Early twenties. Yeah. No, twenty. And of course, um, the first shot was pretty much a sighter. So, yeah. so the second shot was good. It was a wee bit too far back, but um, he didn't go far and parked up, and I managed to get a finishing shot when he was uh, bedded up under a bush. Did you see any other pig? Did you see other ones with it? Yeah, actually all the others were still hanging around. Yeah. And I was, oh, about nine metres from another one. And then all of a sudden this fellow doe come bursting out of the scrub. Yeah. Just about ran over the pig I was stalking. And the pigs just sort of scattered, but went back to feeding. And just the nature of the train, I couldn't get a, Another shot at another one. It was a hard case because you could hear pigs all around, and you, but you didn't know which one to go for. Yeah. That was a bit of, bit of pig away. Yeah, much better pig. It looked a bit better with a better condition. Yeah. Bloody good. You like your pigs, that Matt? I do. Is that because you're a pig? No. <laughs> pigs are good fun to stalk. <laughs> That's why. It's a bit easier than deer, aren't they? Yeah.
the second pig. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, got Oh, it's an arrow I found in the ground. How did it get there? Ah, uh, not sure. <laughs> Maybe I missed a fallow there. <laughs> Maybe not. It's up the string, isn't it? Big time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I arrived about a second after the fellow took off. On high alert, she yeah. was. Yeah. Mick is going to stand off. Success, huh? eventually. Yeah. You would have seen uh, on that video clip, I think, the shot went low. It was a gut shot, basically. They followed it up. First glimpse I got at it was about 35. Took a shot, missed. <laughs> went round the corner into the scrub. Followed it up. It was actually breeding quite well for a gut shot. Mm -hmm. right. Blood trail will follow, but yeah, down the scrub. Put it up two more times when it was bedded. And on the second time, managed to get an arrow into it as it was running past me. Oh, <laughs> rain shot. Yeah. Then it went down the creek, and it was um, on its last leg, so I snuck up and cut its throat. Mm -hmm. All a bit messy, but you get that every now and again. Yeah, you try not to do it, eh? But it's really no. Handy, but... No, I got it. I mean, we got it. So yeah. just a long, long way around. Yeah. <laughs> Wind is, looks like it's fairly consistent now, eh? Mm, yeah, it's good. So, we might as well make the most of the wind and cover, cover both sides of the river. Okay, so Matt and I are split up. Um, I was coming down the true left of the river. Oh, it's that time of night. Deer shape up there. Um, I came down the true left of the river and Air's cooling down and it started to come downhill, so I was up my bum a bit. So I decided to carp a wee gully that I knew of. Um, I only went up there about oh, 100 metres and got onto this girl behind me at about 20 metres. Um, put a good shot on her and uh, she looked hard hit, went into the bush, so I carried up, didn't see anything else. Came back down, picked up the blood trail and probably about 30 metres on the blood trail, she was stone dead. So yeah, wrapped day, eh? gooey pig. Um, good start to the evening. A wee bit of drizzle now, so it's perfect for hunting. Pretty still. So the plan is from here is I'm going to carry on down the gully. Once I've got some meat off this um, pig here, and uh, I'm going to carry on down and see what else we can find. Matt's over the other side, so I'm guessing he's probably getting in amongst it as well, but yeah. The old girls are a wee bit lean at the moment. Um, coming out of winter, so it's it's hard going up here, pretty cold. So, um, yeah, we'll still get some pork off it and carry on your way. What's the story this morning? Ooh. Go for a hunt, will we? I think it's an option, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were snow overnight and rain, but it's cleared up another nice day. So we'll sketch up another gully and we'll try and get a fellow. That's the goal, eh? Yep. Try and get a fellow, or yep. hopefully there's a few pigs around as well, so chase those, but yeah. How's it everyone? End of our trip unfortunately. Just driving back out now. Um, yep. It's <laughs> never enough days is he? No. Nah. Yeah it was only a three day 
two and a half day trip but yeah we had lots of opportunities we ended up with three pigs three goats and a fellow deer yeah. fellow doe yep yep heaps of good stalks though too I was thinking myself today actually I had a good stalk on a, um, on a couple of fellow though amongst some reds and I got them to about 12 metres and oh, I was just about getting ready to take a shot actually and my pack hit a wee branch and went crack and they took <laughs> off and I thought to myself it's uh, I don't know anyone who's ever anyone who's ever bow hunted before it's, it's every stalk's like like your first stalk the adrenaline and the um, you know it's just like your first time hunting isn't it yes. I thought to myself you know I've been bow hunting for I don't know how many years now and every stalk it's still as exciting as the first one you know it's like your first deer it's, uh, it's awesome, you get that big adrenaline dump and it's, it was awesome, so yeah. It's, I think a lot's got to do with it being such close quarters, so close yeah. to the animal, and where Aaron said every little mistake or noise will cost you yep. when, thought, when you're that close to animals. I thought I had it, you know, 12 metres away and all I had to do was basically get my feet right and go to full draw and my backpack hit a branch and it was all over, but um, oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Oh well, yeah. Bit, we, of, bit of pork. We normally a um, couple of goats. Yeah, but we normally have a plan what our next trip is, but we haven't yet, have we? So I don't know what our next adventure is going to be, but um, we'll do something soon, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. You look forward to uh, probably some spear fishing videos this summer. We um, we used to do a lot of spear fishing, but just the last couple of years we have. Mm been doing other things but we're dead keen to get back into it this year so yeah Matt's gonna buy a boat <laughs> so uh, then we'll be into it yeah right all right bloody good good mate thanks Matt from across that lonesome ocean 